Welcome back to another video. If you're wondering how to shrink the size of video files, maybe you have a large video file size and you want it to be smaller so you can upload it or transfer it to, to your hard drive, or maybe you just have a lot of footage and it's taking up too much space and you wanna reduce the size of it. Well, there's a super easy way to do this in a free program and you can either do it to one clip or do it to a batch of clips where it makes it very easy. There are presets, but I'm gonna walk you through the settings I would use. And it basically converts the footage to a better format that has a much smaller file size, but it does keep the quality still high. And if you're new here, we have over 200 videography related videos, so lots of content for you to learn from. And if you wanna know any of the music or the gear we use to make our videos, all links are in the description. Let's jump in. Okay, to jump right in, we're gonna to go to a search engine and we're gonna type in handbrake and then we'll click the handbrake.fr link. And just make sure you're downloading the correct one uh, for your operating system. I'm on Mac, so I'm gonna download for Mac OS. If you want PC, you can click on other platforms. So download this app and then install it. It's completely free. Once it's installed, you can open it up. You might get prompted to open a file every time you open handbrake. Uh, if you aren't happy with that, you can go into the settings and turn that option off. And this is a really cool open source program. It's completely free, as I mentioned, and it can be used to basically convert almost any file type to other stuff. In our case, or in what I typically use it for, is to convert large files such as this 5.83 gigabyte uh, QuickTime file to a significantly smaller file size using a different codec. And if we click on this file and go to get info, you'll see here that again, it's almost six gigs, which is massive. This is a 4K file, but the duration, it's only 10 seconds. So for a 10 second long clip, for it to be almost six gigs, that is pretty ridiculous. This takes up a huge amount of hard drive space, and I would not recommend storing footage in an uncompressed format like this, unless you are you know, an industry pro, you have a lot of hard drive space available to you, and you know the reasons you'd wanna keep your uncompressed originals, let's say. We typically use H.265 on our Sony cameras. However, every so often we do have to work with these files, and, and in those cases, we convert them, like I'm gonna show you in this video. So let's go over to Handbrake. We'll go to File, Open Source. We'll navigate to where the file is. We will open it. So the goal here is to maintain a lot of the source data, but use a different codec that's far more efficient. So to do that, I would suggest working with their presets. So let's go to Preset, General, and then you'll have a ton of different presets. I typically go to Professional and choose the Production Standard. Once that's set up, you can go to dimensions and just make sure that your source dimensions are gonna be the same as your final. And then under video, you can choose the H.264. This is the most widely used codec. And this is basically what every single website uses for uploading content. Nowadays, H.265 is becoming more popular and that's actually what we export with and film in as it produces even smaller file sizes than this H.264. However, uh, you need a high-end computer to uh, work with H.265. So for this video, we'll just stick with the H.264. But if you do wanna go with the other one, you can choose that here. So for us, we'll keep it at H.264. Frame rate, we will make sure it's same as source so that we're not messing with anything there. For quality, we will keep it as constant and we will trust the preset, which is your production standard, that will keep it high quality. We can go do audio. It will convert the uncompressed to AAC, which is good. There are no subtitles. And we can uncheck the create chapter markers. All the filters are off, so we can go back to summary. And we will keep the pass-through common metadata because maybe your source footage does have some uh, metadata stored on the file that you'd want to include in the new file. So that's okay. Once you're done with that, let's pick a save destination. And we will give it a name. Okay, we can then go to add to queue. 
And if it's just one file, you can click on start. However, if you do want to go into the queue, you can click the button on the right. That will pop up the queue window. And here is our file loaded and ready to go. We'll click start. It's going to go through and convert our gigantic six gig file into a much smaller file size, which will save you on hard drive space, which is our goal. So let's go back into our folder and here is our original 5.83 gigabytes. And our new file is only 70 megabytes, which is a tiny fraction of the original size. If you have multiple files, you of course can load uh, Handbrake up, added them all to the queue, use the same preset. You can save your preset once you've you know changed the subtitle and chapters to be off, for example, or if you've made some subtle changes with uh, certain things here. And then you can send them all to the render queue. Let's say you shot all day in a format that produces high uh, file sizes. This would be the way you can convert them all in Handbrake. Again, it's a free program. I'd highly recommend downloading it because it is a time saver and the presets work amazingly. So yeah, I hope that helps. Okay, that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from us in the future. And if you wanna know any of the music or the gear we use to make our videos, all links are in the description. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.